Hello Taurus, welcome to your July 2015th tarot reading. So the first card I have out here is not a great card. It is the devil in the upright position. So um, let me get the card shuffled here and then we'll see what's going on with you guys. So first of all, this card deals with um, clinging on to things, situations, people from our past that uh, we really should sever ourselves from because they're not the healthiest uh, binds in the world. So I would say that a lot of you might, um, you know, because it is the first card that came out, I do feel that this is also residual energies as to, um, and I do feel it is relationship oriented as well, okay? So it could be like um, getting yourself in bad habits like drinking, smoking, you know, doing drugs, and um, or even like, unhealthy behavior in which you place so much emphasis on like material things at the expense of like spiritual development so it's sort of like um the the only example that comes to mind here is that um there you might be doing a job that is not good for humanity but you're making a lot of money from it so it allows you to you know just like you're, you're able to rationalize um the 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 choices that you make based on the outcome, okay? So it's beneficial to you, it's not beneficial to anybody else. So you're like, I'm not hurting anyone, and, but it ultimately, a wrong is a wrong. So it's a matter of like seeing the bigger picture and to like really be honest with yourself about where you're headed, okay? So that is something, it's more like an existential crisis that is coming in like towards the end of June. And it's kind of a residual energy affecting this month. So the yeah a lot of you are in situations in which um you don't really know where to turn and um a lot of you might be dealing with like a fire sign as well <clears throat> a lot of you might be dealing with a fire sign so i would say for taurus female taurus you're waiting for you know um you're waiting to be rescued you're kind of like, uh, your life is stuck, your life is on hold, and you're waiting for another person to come into the picture to save you, okay? So a lot of you might be dealing with like an air sign, for women, might be dealing with an air sign, and you're waiting for this person to like come around to your way of thinking, or you're putting like all your, your hopes and aspirations in one person, and as a result, they are going to disappoint you, okay? So try to go it alone this month okay and once again kind of like the aquarius video a lot of elements are showing up we have the the whole gamut we have um we have the the earth signs fire signs water signs and air signs so for those of you who are single and you know are in looking for relationships i do feel a lot of opportunities are going to show up and similarly to aquarius and this is interesting. So Aquarius had the same energies, the same court cards. However, the only thing that is showing up in the upright position was um, was like an earth sign. Whereas everybody for you, they're all showing up in the reverse position. And the only thing showing up in the upright position is an Aquarius. So there might potentially be a love match between a Taurus and Aquarius for this month, okay? So if that's a situation you're dealing with, I do feel that for women or men, male Taurus, I do sense that um, there is going to be like an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. And I do feel very strongly there is an element of an Aquarius energy here. Uh, where this person will come to your rescue. This person will shed new um, ideas. This person will bring about like enlightenment in your life. Okay, They're going to transform your life. They're going to be able to break you out of your rut, break you out of these unhealthy, these unhealthy habits, break you out of like a victim, almost like a victim type of mentality. They're going to be able to help you, you know, control your finances, especially as well. And to help you get clarity into how and where you stand with other people, how you are perceived by other people. They're going to help you refine your communication, okay? So what I am reading here is that this is a very helpful energy. This is somebody who is like, um, you know, the knight in shining armor in a way that's like rescuing somebody who is feeling very stuck, okay? 
So um, it's a sword energy, so it comes with revelation. It comes with truths. It comes with um, a lot of information. So it causes like a, a total awakening of the heart and of the mind. So this is a very rapid energy. And at the same time, if it's a... He, he or she is showing up in the upright position. So if you're dealing with like an air sign, I would say this person is going to transform your world, okay? If you're dealing with like an, an, a fire sign, there's going to be a lot of passion and they will rock your world. However, this is a better energy for you because you're lacking in uh, a lot of the, you know, being an earth sign. Um, this person will bring into your life an aspect of yourself that you need to confront and that you haven't really like uh, taken the time to to think about so first of all I would say this um, you know like being an earth sign your your emphasis is more on like the the the, the real things the tangible things in life okay whereas like um, the air sign is more philosophical it's more like um, mental and also spiritual as well okay and there's also that element of spirituality associated with it so when you are an earth sign you are like not really developed in other aspects so this person is bringing in new insights so that you can look at your world a little more holistically so i hope this makes sense for a lot of you um you are showing up in the reverse position so that's why I feel that this is not going to apply to everyone. There are a lot of Taurus out there who are very spiritually involved, evolved, who are very like, um, you know, who can approach life in a very philosophical level. <clears throat> I've actually encountered quite a lot. Okay, so there's, um, I do sense that there's also an element of like spiritual awakening that is going to be required of you for this month. So. The energy for this month seems a little bit jarring. The only the, the saving grace is whatever situation that you feel very stuck in, somebody is going to help you break out of that rut, okay? So if it's a financial situation that you're dealing with, if it's unhealthy, toxic people that are always in your midst, that are always asking you for a handout, um, you're going to be able to find like the, the voice to speak up for yourself for this, this month, okay? And when you're upset, it is going to be a little bit jarring. So keep your temper in check. But at the same time, I do feel that, um, you know, Taurus are very patient. So I sense that you let people inch closer and closer to you. And, you know, and when you can't take it anymore, you do tend to explode. But then once you explode, you get over it. Okay, so it's sort of like, um, kind of like an Aries. But Aries, they will explode and they get over it very quickly. Whereas you, you wait until that very last minute when you can't take it anymore. And there's just, you know, going to be thunder and lightning. But then you do get over it. And you do go back to being your um, your forgiving self and your um, patient self, okay? So just make sure that um, I do sense that, you know, address issues as, as they creep up rather than holding them in. Because... Um, I don't feel that the other people are aware of it, okay? And at the same time, there are people that are aware that you are very patient and you're very forgiving and you are very helpful, and they take advantage of it, okay? So if you're dealing with a uh, fire sign or a water sign, be very careful about being taken advantage of. If you're dealing with like an Aquarius or a Gemini, I sense here like an air sign, um, they... they actually want the best for you okay they will give you um, a lot of support they will defend you when other people are attacking you okay so there's an element of a backstabbing energy at work for this month unfortunately and I'm very sorry Taurus but um, the cards do indicate to me that you know you don't really know who your friends are you don't really know where you stand with other people and so for example you might have like friendships or you might have relationships that have run their course but you are afraid of letting them go mainly because of your past history, okay? So being an earth sign, it is really difficult for you to um, break away from old things and forge a new path for yourself. So I do feel that the danger here is that you are clinging on to things past their expiration date. And when we do that, the universe will step in to intervene and 
things can be taken away from us in very painful ways. So just keep that in mind, okay? So for example, um, for Taurus men, you might be dealing with somebody who is seeing somebody else and you find out that, you know, you're not their main person, that you're probably somebody on the side, for example, and you get very, very upset, okay? And for Taurus women in general, um, you might be dealing with people where you're kind of like, um, you don't really know where you stand with them. You don't really know where they are half the time, where they are at night, for example. Or you might text them and you get very little uh, feedback. And um, the thing is, you're, you're allowing that behavior to happen, okay? And um, call them out on it. You know, don't hold it in. Don't give them, like, another chance. Don't just, um, don't forgive and for forget because they're not going to change because of it. You know, you're overlooking their faults. You're kind of, like, rationalizing. And at this point, I am sensing. It it's almost like um, you feel as if, you know, you have an inkling in the back of your mind what it is they're up to. They might be with another person. And then you're telling yourself that, like, okay, um, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt until I see proof okay so I can't say that's a good or bad approach but I what I will say is if you're no longer happy if there are suspicions you have to like really the the important question to ask is you know why these suspicions are creeping up in the first place if it's because you know um, there are things hidden that that you somehow overlooked or if it's because just your intuition is, is, is guiding you towards um, you know being a little more discerning okay and being a little less accepting of, of other people and their flaws so um, being accepting there's nothing wrong with that but what I am sensing here is um, when people show their true colors over and over and over again and you know that they're not good people but you still cling on to them mainly because of your past history with them it's not going to end well, okay? So at the heart of the reading here is that you are in the reverse position, okay? And on top of the heartache card. So it's just not a good situation that, uh, and it's something that I don't want you to go through. So one way we can mitigate this is um, I do feel that intuition is at work here. You're not going to be able to get tangible proofs that you're hoping for, okay? So try your best to go with lack of information at this point because your intuition is trying to kick in. And, uh, you know, being an earth sign, it's very difficult for you to trust things that you can't touch, that you can't, um, can't see, and you need rational reasons you need tangible proof at this point you're not going to be able to get it so because you're not going to be able to get it the best solution at this point is if there are suspicions of like you know infidelity if there are suspicions of even on the work front where you feel that other people are like looking out for your um are, are like trying to throw you under the bus for example or trying to backstab you are trying to like uh, protect their assets at your expense for example take the preemptive strike okay because that's what is going to be required of you so do it preemptively and I do sense that if you are if there are suspicions there is a reason why they're creeping up because everyone else is like in the reverse position okay so you these suspicions are, are not unfounded you have a valid reason for for thinking you know feeling the way that you do so trust it and roll with it okay and take that preemptive strike if you need to because you have to get out of that situation that you're in and you are kind of like at this point stuck in you know mental energies so you're you're like blindfolded you, you can't really see the truth you're kind of like uh, bound gag well not gagged I would say you're gagged but your hands are bound okay so the only thing you can do is to walk away from it you don't really have to act and I do feel that the truth will come to light later on okay so I'm very sorry for this um, sad reading Taurus and it seems to me like that it can be a little bit troublesome okay for those of you who are involved with a um, a fire sign 
for those of you who might be in like a marriage situation with a fire sign, I do feel that um, it's, it's going to be a little bit troublesome. Um, if you feel that your relationship is stable, I do sense that um, your partner is feeling neglect from your end, okay? You might be so caught up with work, you might be so caught up with like trying to uh, build up that financial base, or you might have financial concerns and worries, and it's not allowing you the time to invest in your relationship. So you really have to like set some time out to really be with your partner and to reassure your partner that you're not checked out, that you're not stepping out of the relationship, you're just, you know, caught up in financial worries, okay? Um, at the same time, Taurus, try to really manage your financial situation for this week. I do feel that you're going to be okay by the end of the month. So after the revelation, after things come to light, you're going to stand your ground and you're going to stand firm in your, you know, um, in your resolve on your own two feet and you're going to reclaim your territory. So this is your card in the upright position coming in at the end of the month, at the end of all the riffraff, at the end of the revelation, the news, the backstabbing, the lies and things like that, okay? You're going to be on top of the world and other people's actions will have no bearing on you at that point because you're going to quickly realize that um, you know their true colors, you know you can scrap them from your life, okay? So that's one thing that I am seeing. Another thing is, for those of you who might be involved in a legal issue, it can be like money related, it can be on the work front, it can be just like a legal issue that is either popping up this year, that has popped up this uh, year, like even as early as January in the time of um, Capricorn, like as early as January, or it can be something that is new for this month. I do sense that um, it is going to be emotionally destabilizing and there might be a cash payout required from your end, okay? So if you're going through this, you're going to be very, um, very upset. But I just want to keep you to keep things into perspective. So for example, if there is a, a legal separation or a divorce or, you know, you're forced, you're taken to court to pay alimony, child support and things like that, just part with your money gracefully because money is a means to an end and in the future there are going to be a lot more opportunities for you to earn back that amount that was paid out okay so please don't worry about it I do feel that um, the sense of um, financial loss is it's like overriding everything else this month so please be careful with that situation okay so don't let material things define your happiness it, it would be you know my my the ultimate takeaway here because if you are able to do that then you know you're going to sail through this month without a problem so that's one thing i want you to be careful about and um there are a lot of people involved in this spread so what i'm going to do is uh, <clears throat> pull out two more cards okay so yeah, there are just a lot of people as well, but I do feel that, you know, if you're dealing with an air sign, this person has got your back. They're going to be there for you, and they're going to um, help you. They're going to defend you against other people. So it's, um, it can also be somebody who's just a little bit younger, who's like very, um, who's very righteous, you know, who will speak up, even though they, you might not agree with them. I do feel there's an element here where you will not agree with them and then unexpectedly they stand up for you and they do it mainly because they don't take it personally you know it's not about you it's about like doing what's right so that's the spirit that you want to uh, cultivate this month doing the right thing okay and regardless of who it is regardless of uh, who you're up against trying to do the right thing is going to um, have more of a fruitful outcome this year Okay, so, um, yeah, a lot of you will be dealing with, like, divorces, and um, even a lot of you will be dealing with, like, divorces, breakdown in the homes, okay, having to move, like, even uh, moving out of your residence, but you're doing this willingly and happily, so it, it indicates to me that, you know, the financial expenditures, like, the... Um, Increase in expenditures could be related to travel, could be related to like having to move home as a result of a breakdown in a relationship where you can no longer be together. So for your mental health and for your physical well-being as well, 
try to move away from it and you know have separate houses if you are in a situation where you know it's toxic being being around the other person but neither of you have decided on a, a clean brick yet in the meantime you know just rent another apartment rent another condo and i know that we all like we not everyone will have the financial resources to do that but i do feel that you're going to have to to protect your peace of mind to like um to allow that distance between you and the other person to get give you a better sense of perspective as to what you want to do, okay? And then what's also coming in corroborating this card here is um, the element of prayer. I do sense that the first week is going to be very, very destabilizing. And then things will start to de-escalate, you know, towards the end of the month. But a little bit of prayer, you know, prayer for a sense of direction is going to be required of you this month. Uh, this month okay so um, once again I do feel that um, for the past few months you guys have had a very good like um, I feel like a very positive reading so this is the first one in which we have the devil three of swords and the tower coming up for you so I do feel that um, you're probably being hit as well with the Venus retrograde and also the um, that Saturn square in your sign okay that Saturn transit square in your sign Saturn is also in retrograde for for the first few weeks of this month so um, I do feel that you are going to be okay because um, there is a person in your midst that is going to be around to protect you at the same time too much emphasis on material things and um, too much emphasis on wealth and you know just like status and things like that is going to be detrimental okay so the one thing I would say is there is an inner conflict here between physical proof and um, sort of like intuitive proof so what I'm what I, I what I am trying to say that I'm not articulating very well is that you are very very caught up in trying to get clear clean cut answers and you're trying to find tangible proof um, you're not going to be able to do that because the people around you are very, very adept at, you know, evading your questions, adept at uh, manipulation, okay? So what's helping you here is your heightened sense of intuition. What's helping you here is, you know, the, the universe is conspiring here to, to bring you these little feed you pieces of information okay so if your intuition is kicking you overdrive and is telling you not to do something not to get involved with certain people not to trust somebody I would say please sit on it and you know take the time off and realize and think about where these messages are coming from why you have them in the first place okay because they are trying to warn you against these other people that might not have your best interests at heart and at the same time, there are three, four sword energies. Three of them are pretty negative. So you're kind of like in a, a stuck place and you don't really know where to go. So your intuition is going to be your guiding light for this month. Okay, so trust your intuition when it comes to people. On the work front as well, I do feel that a lot of you might be engaged in a gossipy type of work environment in which other people are like, um, or even like, um, downplaying your your capabilities downplaying your performance okay your ability to excel in the work environment so speak up for yourself in this situation and I would say like take a preemptive strike you know um, do things like be the first to take the the initiative be the first to take that action don't wait too long because I do feel that other people are testing you and they're trying to gauge your potential and your worth to their team on the work environment and if you Prove yourself to be more of a doer than a talker and I in general I do feel that you're not going to have problems okay you are an earth sign so you're very action oriented at the same time you might be very slow on the uptake when it comes to new opportunities and they want somebody who is a little more like spontaneous somebody who goes with the flow and somebody who wants um, who wants just um, who can grab life by the horn and who can just um, 
sees opportunities when it comes into the picture, okay? So they want somebody a little more spontaneous and a little more action, like direct action oriented. So try to do that, try to take that preemptive strike so that um, the other people will have more trust and faith in your capabilities on the work front, okay? Overall, it is going to be a very, um, like busy busy month so i do feel an element of like hastiness is going to be required of you okay so people are in reverse so they are going to be kind of like obstacles to the course of your life to the things that you want to do to the things that you want to implement additionally the financial situation itself if you are dealing with divorce settlements um alimony child care child support and things like that it is going to be financially draining but you are going to be protected this month. There is divine intervention at work. There's a lot of success coming through as well. So don't worry about it, okay? Just take a more proactive approach. Just be a little bit more hasty because um, slowing down and not taking action is going to be the most detrimental act, course of action that you can take, okay, throughout this month. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month, Taurus. And... Um, Update me and let me know what's going on with your life, okay? And um, let me see how this plays out for you as well. If you are interested in a personal reading, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. And I will respond. And um, in general, I hope you have a good month. And happy 4th of July as well for those who are celebrating in North America. So thanks for watching.